Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I have for you a tier list. I'm going to be ranking the best balls for league bowling. Now these are going to be all Storm, Rotor Grip, and 900 Global Bowling Balls. And um, honestly, I have some missing because at the time that we're filming this, I haven't thrown these balls yet. Anyways, all the way S through the D tier, we're going to be listing the best bowling balls that I think will be good for league. Is this list subjective? Yes, completely. Follow along. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, what your favorite league bowling balls are, and uh, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the Absolute from Storm. I actually have not gotten a chance to throw this ball on anything easy, really. I'm going to go put this in the A tier for Absolute. I think it's a good one. It's a pretty clean ball. It's got a weaker cover, strong core for those higher ref players. Could blend out the wet dry, keep you a little further right because of the clean cover, and the strong core should blend out the cliff pretty well. Next up, we have the D. DNA. Now, initially, I thought the DNA was going to be similar to the gem. I thought wrong. The cover is a good amount weaker, in my opinion. Is it going to be good for League? If it's a high friction house and it hooks a lot, probably not. If you saw the video that we posted, the DNA ball review, it was a little rough. We had a hard time getting the ball through the, the front of the lane. It just refused to go through the pins the right way, and it's just because it was too early. I'm going to go with the B tier, just because it's such a strong ball, and I haven't thrown it in League at all, so it's kind of hard for me to say. Okay, now this next ball I think is going to be pretty good all around the board, all kinds of styles. It's been really good for me so far in a lot of different situations, but I think in League, this thing's the daddy. Altered Reality Jr. It's a little bit weaker. It's got a cornet that I really like. The Eternity has been a really good bowling ball for me. I like it. It strikes a lot. It was very eye-opening the first time I threw it, and it continued to perform. So I'm going to put that in the S tier. Next ball, we have the Exotic Gem, a ball that I have thrown in League. This one is also a very strong pearl ball even a step higher than the Eternity. So I bowled really good with it in League. I think I shot over a 1,000 for four games. I averaged over 250. So that one's going in the S tier for me. Next, we have the Fate. Very middle of the road bowling ball. A ball that Belmo said hooks more and more the more you throw it to the right. Considering we're talking about League and most League patterns are pretty dished. Hook right, hold left. He's probably not wrong. For me, I had a hard time throwing this one in League, but South Point gets really tricky, especially because it's a second shift League. So I'm going to have to put this in the B tier purely because it could have been just the day I threw it. I couldn't strike to save my life. Subject to change in future League tier lists. Okay, now we have the gem, the strongest bowling ball we own, possibly known to man. Is this a good ball for a League? If you throw it really hard and you're on a higher ref side and you want a house shot with a lot of oil, maybe. I've seen a lot of people have success with these a little on the shiny your side. I'm going to go with the A tier because I've just seen so many of these go down the lane. I personally like it a lot. Is it the best league ball for me? Probably not. I've seen it roll really well for a lot of different people, so I'm going to put it in the A tier. Okay, okay, here we go. We're going into the hustle line. All right, I have a couple of scenarios here. Hustle, camo, USA, wine. If I'm throwing them in the double trouble league, Tuesday nights, 9.30 p.m. at South Point, which is what we put on the channel. I think they're like a C tier bowling ball. You know, they're strong and enough to come off it pretty good but their covers are so weak that when they get cliffed at south point it gets real nasty you get it to the friction quick gets off it too hard you get it in the oil never hooks but if you're in ohio and you bought hp high friction lanes i think these balls are gonna be fantastic i've bowled there i strike a bunch there they hook a lot so it really depends on where you're going so it's like an s tier ball there a c tier ball for you know south point camo i'm gonna go with a wine i'm gonna go with b just because it's a little more on the clean side it won't blend it as good usa i can't say was my favorite it looks cool a little bit biased there because maybe i didn't drill it optimally for it to roll as good as it can for my given style but it's going in the c tier high road pearl i think it's like uh it bridges the gap a little more between the hustles high road as well the weaker pieces you know if they're burning up in league you're probably going to be throwing them games three or four if you have a four game league off the rip probably not so i'm gonna go b tier for league Hype hybrid, I just don't like this ball, so I'm going to go in the D, D tier. Uh, for those of you that say that you know, I only talk about bowling balls and make them you know, talk good things and try to sell them, that no. If I don't like a bowling ball, I'm going to tell you. This also might have been a layout thing, but this ball just didn't do it for me. The hyped pearl and the hyped solid, however, I'm going to go with... Uh, it's got to go in the B tier for me for the, the pearl. The pearl's got to go in the B tier just because that's kind of how I explain the high roads and the hustles. So I'm going to bridge the gap again between the A and the C tier, put it in the B. But the hype solid, 
or your tour player, I think is fantastic. If you're on the higher skill level, if you get your ball to hook in the fronts a little more, this ball was great. The ball's strong enough to where I can hook it a little more, but if I need to play straight and keep my hand up at the back of it and play right up against the friction, this thing blends it out really nice when it gets to the hook. It still wants to pick up because I'm straight enough in the oil uh, with my feet being a little further right. I am all about the hype, solid on the China. Moving on, we have another ball that I am going to put in the S tier because the very first time I threw it, the Idle Cosmos. I drilled it like my original Idle, like a five inch pin. It's under my middle finger. Cuts the diff quite a bit, so it makes the ball smoother and cleaner. I saw a big difference between the Cosmos and the original Idle. A lot more shape out of the pink one. This one, a lot smoother. Kind of the same deal as the Hype Solid, to be honest. I could see a little further right, be firm with it. Blends off the friction real nice. And the oil still wants to pick up because I'm straight enough. I've drilled a couple more since with different layouts and they've rolled pretty good. I don't think this ball gets enough love. So if you've never had an Idle Cosmos and you need something that's pretty smooth, don't let the pearl trick you. It's still pretty strong, but you can always shine it up too. Great league ball. Infinite Physics. Now, this is a ball that I was kind of on the fence about. I've had some success on tour with it this year. In the past, you know, I didn't really like it, but I probably wasn't in a good place physically. This ball got going forward really quick, really fast for me. So it forced me too far left on the house shots. Became very flat 10 prone, but I still pulled some pretty good games just because the cover was pretty strong and it blended out the lane okay. But it just got going forward a little too quick. For league, for the masses, I feel like it's an A. For me, it's like a B. So right now, I'm kind of in between. Jana, A or B? B. B. <laughs> Need some assistance on this one. We're gonna put the infinite physics in the B tier. Honestly, I think forward is good for the majority because the majority rotate the ball more than most professionals. Sometimes you need the ball to get going a little more forward. So if you're gonna do, you know, I'm gonna speak to the masses. Let's put it in the A tier. Sorry, Jana. Next we have Night Road. I have to put it in the S tier because it's the only ball I've shot 300 with in this double trouble second shift burn league. We're technically bowling games four, five, six, seven, but the league before us is four person teams. We are doubles, realistically, if you double that, because there's twice the number of people on the pair, we're bowling games seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot. That's why they're so tricky. Okay, phase two. Phase two is just the god ball. Um, I'm just gonna put it there. I don't need to explain why the ball's been out for seven years now. If you don't know what a phase two is, just keep watching more bowling videos and you'll see it pop up. We have the phase five. Yeah, phase five league. Fantastic ball. Fantastic league ball. Um, you know, we leaked it a little earlier than we were supposed to. Thankfully, Storm let us post the video. Anyways, it rolled great in league. Honestly, I haven't thrown it a ton on, on tour, but I've seen a lot of people throw it. So it's an S tier league ball. What can I say? Pitch black. Uh, a lot of people, there's a lot of, a lot of controversy about throwing your thing in league should i do it should i not do i want to piss off my opponents am i the one that's gonna get pissed off because my line changes in a way that doesn't normally if everybody else is throwing reactive well you get guess what you get no sympathy from me because we on the tour see so many different things pair to pair it's like bowling on a different pattern every single game sometimes and the blocks where guys bowl really good they either see it really well make the changes really fast but more often than not the pairs just aren't that different. Should you throw urethane in a league? If it's a competitive league, you could take it as gamesmanship. I don't know. I can literally put this in any tier, but for me, honestly, it's not great in league because it's kind of the same deal where it just hooks too early. When we bowl on harder stuff, that's what we need. When we bowl on the easier stuff, that's not what we need. All right, now we're getting into a couple of IQs. I am a big fan of the IQ. I won my first title with the IQ, my one and only. Is it good for league? I have not thrown an IQ in league in a long time, so it's kind of hard to say, but I'm gonna go super nerd on you guys right now. All right, so it's got a fairly weak cover, R2S. It's got low RG, which means it wants to pick up earlier. It's got low differential, which means it wants to float a little more. It should let me play straighter in theory, right? Maybe not as good as a hype solid or an idle cosmos because those balls are super smooth so i gotta go a step down a tier now the other iq the red one the iq ruby haven't thrown it a whole lot but the times i have wow this thing's nice we shot the ruby video the same day as the dna and oh my goodness the ruby ooped all over the dna and it's not because it's a better ball it was just a better ball for the given conditions. There's no such thing as a bad bowling ball. Every bowling ball has a time and a place. Some bowling balls just are good more often than other ones, but every ball has its place. And this one, I'm not really sure, but I'm also gonna put it in the A tier because I feel like it's gonna be really good in the league. I'm not really sure. And I can't put it in the S tier because again, I'm not really sure. All right, next on the list, we have the reality check. Another ball that I haven't really thrown a ton. I did throw it in the league though. I think it's a good ball. It's kind of one of those kind of niche, you know, either throw it a ton or you don't really throw much at all and we have a lot of options. Reality check is probably gonna be 
a B tier ball for me. You know, it was pretty good when I threw it. I also threw it off the wrong foot. So do I have the best measure? Maybe not, but reality check, go in the B tier. Reality, one of my go-to bowling balls must have in the bag at all times. It's one, two big ball punch with the gem. I'm gonna go with the A tier. And the only reason why it's not an S tier ball is just because it's, it's more on the pretty strong side. And I don't like throwing really strong bowling balls in the league because they tend to force me too far left because they want to hook so early. Not like you know, the, the Hype Solid or the Idle Cosmos, which I think are god balls for league. I can do some damage with the reality pretty much on anything. Next ball on the list, we have another 2023 ball, the Revenant. Also haven't thrown this one in league yet because it came out during the tour season or right before. So we're going to guess what is it like? I think it's a beefier night road. Smoother, you know, clean, smooth, but I haven't thrown it in league. So I don't really know if you're on the lower ball speed side. I think this is, the real, is a really good option or the higher rep side. Uh, I'm going to go... Well, A tier. Okay, X3, hybrid RST ball. The one time I threw it in the league, it was fantastic. So, RST X3, S tier league ball. The Rubicon UC3, you know, the urethane knights. We throw this ball kind of like a cheat code because you know, it doesn't exactly roll like a urethane ball. So, I'm going to go A tier. And the only reason why it's not S tier is because, honestly, I don't really have a reason not to put it in the S tier. It just feels right in the A tier. Supernova. This one, I got to go in the C tier. You have all the big balls. This one struck the least so far in the league. Will it be the same for you? Possibly not. If you like the Supernova, let me know in the comment section below. Give me another reason to drill another one. I've only drilled one. The reality and the gem are just so dominant for me in that spot that I just kept drilling those. So that's where it's going. C tier for now. Okay, TNT. This is one that looked awful in every single ball video. I kind of refused to drill one for the longest time. At this point, while we're filming this, I've drilled three more and they've all been pretty good. Maybe it's not the greatest league ball but every single one i've drilled since the one in the ball video has been pin up the one in the video is pinned down common denominator probably as far as league is concerned if i had to go purely based off of the ball video and me throwing my very first one it's probably in the c tier it's just a really strong ball i don't think it's bad if you want to throw it in league i definitely recommend shining it up some people have had success i think some guy bowled 800 with a matchmaker ball tnt you never know if i'm gonna throw it in the league it's probably gonna be shiny which at some point in the league i probably will throw it you're just gonna have to wait and see find now subscribe make sure you don't miss that episode of league night because it's coming back for summer 2023 and probably fall 2023 yay all right, we're going to the Tropical Surge. I know before it was in the S tier just because Mikey said it was, and then I threw it more in league, and I just... I'm not going to throw weak balls in league, man. If they're too weak, not enough diff. It just don't get going forward. I mean, enough for me, so... This is going to be a D tier ball. It, it's flipped the script. You know, you flip the list upside down. You went from one side to the other really quick, and then it's just... It is what it is. Weak ball. I just got to make it hook too much. It doesn't lay off when I throw it to the friction, and in the oil, it just goes forever. So, I... It's going in the... D tier for me. Wolverine Dark Moss. It's in the same realm as the Revenant in terms of strength and the idea. I think the cover is slightly weaker though. Haven't thrown this one in league. I don't even know if I've thrown the blue one in league. It feels like a B kind of ball for league. It really does. You're kind of on the cleaner side, but still a little smooth and it just, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it just, that's, that's what's talking to me right now. It's, it's kind of a B tier league ball for me at least. Zen Balls. Okay, we're going to go with the Zen Soul. The Zen Soul, I think, is going to be a B-tier ball as well. Very middle ball. I threw it in the league. Had a hard time striking, but I was also blowing on the harder side of the house for South Point. But dry, yeah. All right, Zen Yu. I'm sorry. I got to put the Zen Yu in the C-tier. It's just not... It forces me so far left because it's so strong, but it doesn't really have a strong core. So again, I'm having that not really getting forward fast enough deal like the Tropical Surge. C-tier ball, but I can imagine it'd be a good ball for uh, a lot of other people in league if you like that urethane shape, but you need just a little more. There you go. All right. Zen ball good. Zen ball good. Zen ball good. What more can I say? Zen ball good. The Zen's been a really good ball. A lot of different things. Kind of like uh, the phase two. The phase two Zen combo. That was my one-two punch in my bag ev for everything for the longest time until we had more bowling balls come out. All right, we're going to cap it off with the Electrify. Electrify Pearl, I think it is. Because the Electrify Solid got booted so now we have two pearls i haven't thrown one of these yet actually i haven't thrown this one either so i'm gonna throw it right in the middle just because i haven't thrown that one i'm gonna put the electrify go in the a tier because i think the brighter pigments 
make it a bit more so it kind of evens out the ball reaction it's not super skid flippy still wants to get going forward enough strong enough when i say get going forward enough usually that means just the ball strong enough i'm gonna take a swing here this one's got a little bit of yellow in it and again this is this is one of the balls that i haven't thrown yet at the time of the recording of this video the other ball that's coming out at the same time with this one is called the duo haven't thrown that one yet either i i gotta go in between somewhere right but if i had to guess which way it's gonna go i like the colors kind of I'm not a real bright color kind of guy, but for weaker balls, I think it works out. Let's go in the A tier. Let's go in the A tier. That's my list for league. Let me know if you agree or disagree, whatever, with my options, my picks. Again, it's incredibly subjective. This is just what I think. Let me know if you guys want to see a league night where I only throw S tier league balls. And I'm sure you guys are going to want a league night where I only throw the balls that are at the bottom of this list as well. But let me know before you go. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps us out a lot. Smash that like button to let us know if these tier videos are what you guys want to see. I know we've gotten a lot of views on these in the past, so let me in the comment section below if you guys have any more ideas for tier lists moving forward we'll have more for you to come my name is darren tank thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one